As long as we are able to fight the Soviets at long range, in the open fields, we are able to inflict terrible casualties on them and to advance very fast because of our superior armor. However, every time when the Soviets were entrenched inside the forest, they were able to inflict some serious casualties on our men. Now that we are advancing on the road to Izvos, we need to secure the northern side of the Vruda River. Capturing Alexandrovka is our goal there. But that also means going into those dense, dark forests, where the Soviets are just waiting for us. Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of our Raging Bridget campaign in Gravity Tactics Mir's Front. Let's finish turn number 9 together, and let's see what happens in turn number 10. Okay, we are receiving some updates. 9th of August 1941, 12 o'clock. Judging by further reports, one of the Panzer III tanks from the first... Okay. One of the Panzer III tanks from the 1st Tank Regiment got stuck on the bridge in Iswos and pushed into the river. Okay. The German units did not return to their initial positions and by the morning at 6 o'clock reached Iswos. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so the historical development turned out to be, well, quite a mess, to be honest. So apparently, historically speaking, German tanks managed to break through to Iswos they did not obey the order that we received earlier, that uh, we should move back to the initial positions and prepare for enemy counterattacks. And they were, well, more or less behind enemy lines in Izvos. While at the same time, Soviets were pushing in from the southeast here, and they were slowly retreating and being pushed back towards the north in this direction. So when we compare our situation to the historical one, then we can see that we are far better off. Yeah, much better. Okay, we are receiving some repairs. We are receiving ammunition. More repairs. Repairs are super important. I have quite a lot of tanks and vehicles that are broken in some way. So having those repaired is a huge bonus to me. Nice. And we are getting some reinforcements. We are getting recon units. I will have a look at them in just a moment. For now, let's wait until all these mes messages finish up. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, that's an interesting development. Enemy units behind my own lines. So what happened here? This most likely is an enemy unit that was um, routed on the battlefield, dispersed, and now reformed behind the front line. This can happen. Thankfully, I just received these recon units that have armored cars, and I think those units would be quite perfect to go and hunt down units such as this here. So we will make immediate use of this. But first of all, let me check really quick when I look at my points that I received. Okay, so my idea to pull some battle groups into the reserve didn't actually give me additional points, so that didn't work. Hmm. Curious. If anybody knows what I need to do to actually move battle groups into the reserve, please do tell me. Because I did move some units. Let's have a quick look. Where are they? Disbanded. Yeah, the 118th Infantry Regiment. I moved those guys back into the reserve. As you can see, they are completely gone. But I did not receive any points for that. Why? And I can't reform them now. They are gone for good. For example, if I select this unit, let's go to the forces list and let's find him. Should be somewhere down here. Yeah, you can see all the units are in reserve. And I cannot like go ahead and bring them back onto the battlefield. 
most likely those units will be standing by as um, units that can be called in for uh, to bolster other units. Like for example, let's maybe not select the tanks, but some normal infantry. Mm -hmm. And now, if we look at this battle group, no, they are not in the list here. Hmm. Okay, that's curious. I will have to take a good look at that. And I will have to take a good look at my plans for this turn, which will obviously consist of taking Isvos and taking Alexandrovka up here in the north. But um, look at the amount of AT guns that we'll be running into. Okay, that will be tough. That, yeah, just give me a minute. Welcome back. Let me show you what I'm doing. So, as I already announced, I'm moving these recon units towards um, Yasvisha here. They will make sure that the enemy can't simply cross through this fort and uh, occupy Yasvisha again. This headquarters unit will move into the center of Yasvisha to make sure that the enemy doesn't just walk in. I don't want to lose any victory points in the last minute, so to speak. So, I hope that with these recon units I can hunt down these enemies. Um, other than that, these recon units down in the south will hold their positions. The 113th Motorized Infantry Regiment is continuing its advance up north and will attack here in this area, supported by units from the 1st Tank Regiment that will move into this area and stand by to support. And we will start an assault up here towards Alexandrovka. This will be a tough one because we will most likely be fighting all these enemy units stationed in this area. And as you can see, there are a lot of anti-tank or anti-tank artillery regiment units. That will be tough, and my vehicles and my tanks will have a hard time in these forests. Let's see what happens. Yeah, unit movements, that's going according to plan. And there we go. It's on. One enemy battle group disbanded. That's good. So that's one less thing to worry about. Our attack here will commence just as planned. Um, with the support of a lot of tanks, a healthy amount of infantry, and some artillery in the back line. So that will be useful. I hope that there are no more units apart from these four, but, well, there could be more units up here and in these squares, so we will see about that. This enemy unit actually stayed in this area, and my scouts did arrive at Yasvisha, so next turn they will be able to swoop in and attack. And here, our assault will commence, unless the enemy pulls back, but um, they don't have the space to pull back, actually, so this will happen. But now, let's focus on this one. Let's go to the battlefield. Welcome to the gun-infested battlefield of Alexandrovka. Let's start and I'll explain what's going on. So, this tank unit here has arrived um, in the arrived state, so I could not actually tell them where to deploy. They were auto-deployed, but I could give them orders where to move. So right now, this unit the uh, combat engineers of this unit, they will sweep this forest up to this point. If they encounter enemies, they will fall back to this line here. Their purpose is simply to um, find out where the enemies are, so that I can then assess the situation and move in my tanks accordingly. We have some artillery uh, that will land near Alexandrovka, and later on in the mission we will have a lot of artillery pounding the village. I have this tank company here standing by. They will move towards the village and I will use them for an assault towards it. They will be supported by this combat engineer unit that is standing by with some Panzer twos. Over on my left flank we have the village of Maximovka guarded by entrenched combat engineers. These guys are not going to be moved out of here by the enemy. We have more units here on the edge of the forest, including some Panzer IIs. And 
a special highlight. On the southern side of the river, we have a whole battery of light field turrets are standing by for artillery support missions. Oh, we hear the first artillery impacts in the forest. This is scheduled artillery, as you can see here. So this will require some time to complete, and I hope that I hit something with this. Especially once they start pounding the village. But the shots will not be corrected right now. So the accuracy... well, it might be off. We will see. Let's hope that we land some good hits on the village. Okay, there are some zero in-fire missions happening on the left flank. Those will not actually land shells. Um, the commander of the light field howitzer battery is actually up here in the front. And he needs to get wire comms back to his unit. Now he does have a cable unit here. And apparently they are tasked with laying wire links. Now this is the first time that I'm trying this. I have mounted them into this truck that belongs to the unit. And I'm curious to see if this truck will actually drive them back to the battery and if they can lay the wire that way or if they really have to go by foot. I hope they don't have to go by foot because that's going to be a really long way. I really do hope they don't have to go by foot. But so far the truck is not moving. I will give it a few minutes. Sometimes I need a few minutes before they start to move. Artillery is pounding the area nicely. Fair mission is also progressing nicely. They are not super tired, the gunners, apparently, right now. Somebody's under fire. Okay, first enemies have been found right in front of us. And this half trick is already disabled. Damn it. And this was not supposed to happen. Under fire, also here on this flank. Here too, we have found some enemies. Interesting. I did not expect to find enemies this early on. Very interesting. Where was the first contact? Over here somewhere. Ah, there they are. Where the fire is burning. Okay, so this unit... Who do you belong to? You belong to these guys. Yeah, do get into cover. Try to fire back if you can. There you go, that's good. Suppress those enemies. Okay, this unit so far has no orders. I wanted to wait until this unit here could close the gap. Which they are doing right now. Under fire. Okay, these units are also coming under fire from the enemies. But they are in fact sitting inside of trenches, so they are mostly fine. I guess the half track is most at risk here. But the half tracks are now picking up the enemy units and. Never mind! The half tracks are too exposed apparently. Okay, in that case. Let's get the half tricks back. They are too close to the enemies. As one of my viewers has correctly pointed out in the comments of the last video, half tricks are very vulnerable once the enemy is close enough or once the caliber that he fires is big enough. So far I have used the half tricks quite aggressively in this campaign because I noticed that the enemy units do not seem to include anti-tank rifles. If the enemy has anti-tank rifles, which they do in most operations, your half tricks are not good. <laughs> They're not super useful. You should only use them basically as, as infantry transport, maybe long range machine gun support. But nothing more than that. Okay, artillery strike. I suspect this is the artillery strike that was intended for the village and it will actually be quite a ways off and land here in the forest. Damn. Ah well, can't be helped right now. 
Here on this side, the engineers are sweeping the forest and have not encountered enemies so far. There are some enemies back there, however. We have spotted a truck, and where there's a truck, they're usually anti-tank guns. How's the situation here looking? The panzers are moving up. This is nice. There you go, nice turn. Good job. Okay, these panther, uh, panthers will be a wonderful support unit. Okay, let's maybe bring up something that can seriously hurt these guys. I do have light infantry guns very much nearby. If I can get these things into line of sight, then the enemy will not have a fun time. Or maybe, maybe the commander can assign this area as a target. Can I get him to have eyes on this area? Maybe, just maybe. Uh, go to there. Oh, not executed. Not enough command points. If he can get eyes on that area, then the light infantry gun will take care of it. They are perfect for taking out enemy positions. Okay. Go there. Okay, the unit up here still did not find any enemies. Hold your progress, stay there. Stay where you are. Do I bring tanks up to you? I do have two recon tanks. I think that would be a good use for them. Well, two recon tanks that are still intact. Go there and go there. Support the engineers. Ah, oh, yeah, there are enemies on the left flank of the engineers here. And the artillery strike that was supposed to hit the village is actually hitting this position back here. With a bit of luck, there are enemies there and they will be hurt. Okay, now that those Panzer twos are moving. Oh, there's actually a nice fire break here. I can use that to drive up tanks. Yeah, let's do that. That's a great idea. Okay, are you all... No, you are broken. If you are broken, I do not want you to be here and to mess up my formation. I want to spare you. Okay, so everybody else gets to go up this little road. Yes. You, 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 and you. You will... Well, I don't know if it's a road, but... Let's try this. Just drive. I do have 88 guns here, two of those. I could not deploy them in, a, in an advantageous position earlier because, well, they simply arrived here in this area. This is where they were basically when the battle started. I lost a unit. I guess that's a half track. Yes, that's a half-track. And this unit of mine, they are suffering. So ideally, I need the... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, we're getting eyes on the enemy position. So I expect the light infantry guns to start their little song any moment now. There we go. Gun is aiming. I hope they don't hit the tree. Gun. They hit the tree. Damn it! <laughs> Aww. That's not good. Don't do that. Ok, 
Okay. I was about to say that these light infantry guns can fire with a very high arc. But this, this will not do. They are too close. So, maybe don't fire. Yeah, you stop firing. You do not work. Maybe the other one does. So now we, that we have the target area, let's see, can this guy communicate with the second gun? He actually can not, he's too far away. So let's get him back to the second gun, so that he can give them orders, and they will fire on this area then. Oh, enemies have been sighted here, interesting. Are you trying to get out of your forest? It's not going to work, guys. Don't do that. Okay. What else is happening? This gun is now going to open up. There we go. Fire. Where's that landing? Ah, good. Good, 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 good. That's looking promising. As I was about to say, these guns can fire with a quite high arc. Basically... Almost like, well, like howitzers or mortars. And I hope that they continue to do that now. Why did you stop shooting? Please continue. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, you see they're aiming, and let's go. And the round is flying, and hopefully hitting these. Well, that's what is good. Yeah, that was a good one. And now they are shooting rapid fire. Good, 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 good. That will make the enemy rethink his position here. These light infantry guns are very deadly. Very much so. Okay, we are suppressing those enemies. We are advancing here on this side quite nicely, I might add. Here, well... Kind of, the tanks are rolling up the uh, fire break so that they can pluck this gap here and support. That will be important. Should maybe try to move these half tracks up. Half track. Yeah, advance to this position. This half track. You have to advance to there, and this half trick. You're going here. Go and support your infantry units. Same thing with these half tricks. You are to drive up there. You are to go there. And you are to go there. Wait, no. You. You are to go there. Okay. That will work. This is the commander of the unit. Let's move him up as well. Exchanges of fire are happening all around. This gun is still shooting. I do not want to run it out of ammunition. And I think this position has been pounded very hard. There shouldn't be anything left here. And as you can see, that's more or less precisely what happened. The enemy in that position has been defeated. Light infantry guns are amazing, I'm telling you. These things are great for killing enemies that are inside positions. Okay. By the way, speaking about guns designed to kill enemies in positions, what about the wire link? No wire comms. And the cable guys, it says laying wire link. Oh wait, he has wire comms. Okay, the wire link has already been established. That's good. That's very good. Let's test that. Shall we? If I tell... Wait a moment. Why can I not select the target for observed fire? Ah, oh, don't tell me. 
You really? Why? This is not supposed to be like this. I should be able to select a target for observed fire with this guy. Or even with this artillery battery spotter. Not sure why this is not working right now. But it's making the guns not super useful, to be honest. And this is causing me issues, I can tell you that much. Okay, what's happening up here? Why are these guys so far up on their own? Who the hell are you? Panzer Grenadiers, who the hell told you to advance that far? I didn't, did I? Nah, I don't think I did. Okay, in that case, uh, how about you guys... Retreat? Get away from them? There you go. Get yourselves away from the enemy and retreat. How's the situation looking up here? The tanks are making their way just fine. And I have them now in a position from where they can open up in a line and just go in there and mess up the enemies that you can see. Create, well, they create a nice base of fire there. Okay, here the advance is progressing. Once we get these tanks up here, we will progress the advance with these uh, combat engineers. They will continue their sweep, make sure that this area is secure, and then they will swing towards the village. Down here we can now that this area is secured, and well, we are quite far up in this area. We can now start to move up the tanks and to distribute them in nice positions here. So let's do that. Let's establish a base of fire towards the village. Okay, tanks. Move to here. And afterwards, let's see. Tank number one will stay where he is. Tank number two will immediately split off and attack to this position. Tank number three will split off and attack towards that position. Tank number four will split off to the left here. This tank, I want you to somehow... I want you to, to stay here maybe for the moment. Because I really want you to cross this little creek and to establish a position here on this side. Okay, let's just do that. You go there. This one will go a little further. And you as well. The goal is to establish a nice base of fire so that we can open up on these buildings and once the big artillery barrage finishes, it's still ongoing, there will be a smoke barrage coming down just in front of the village if the accuracy is good enough and then our um, Panzer Grenadiers here are supposed to advance. We can already give these guys the order to move closer. So for now I don't want you to fire at anything. Good job. And I will move you into this area where you will stand by. Okay, you go mount up. Everybody get on your tanks. Good job. I like moving the infantry this way. Moving infantry is... Um, if you move them by foot, it drains their stamina and it degrades their performance, but if you have vehicles available, make use of them. This is an excellent way to be very mobile, to move units fast from one end of the map to the other, 
and they will arrive fresh and rested. Although, be careful, if an enemy machine gun spots this, <laughs> that's a bad time for these guys. Okay, why are you not, do you not have space on the tank? There's always one guy that makes trouble, isn't there? That's fine. If he doesn't want to ride on the vehicle, he can go on foot. I don't mind. Okay, let's go. You don't have to move very far. So just get to here, maybe. Uh, to keep a sparse formation. There you go. Okay, we're establishing good control of the village. Well, at least the approach to the village. So far, no enemy sightings inside of it. Let's make sure that the road is accessible by moving this tank to this side. Smoke screen should now start to land. So I need to get the engineers moving immediately. Good that they are already in position. Let's see, uh, it's all of you guys, right? Yes. Okay. Actually, do not stop. Keep moving. Ah, the smoke screen is way off. That's a shame. That's a real shame. So, we will just make an assault movement towards the village. Move to here. And move fast. And once you are there, you will dismount. And then the combat engineers can go ahead and sweep the village and establish themselves inside of it. Up here the situation is completely under control. The enemy is not trying anything stupid to recapture Maximovka. We will have to sweep these forests and get them out of here. But we'll do that once Alexandrovka is ours. Because I... it's too quiet, you know? You know this feeling? It's way too quiet. There should be enemies here. Where are the enemies defending the village? Maybe they are just behind it. Maybe inside the houses, I don't know. Maybe they are just waiting for my units to get into the village before they... fire at them from this forest. Everything's possible. But for now... Yeah, okay. You know what? Let's actually... Continue the sweep with this unit. They will sweep this forest. Although I should wait for the smoke barrage to clear. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? Okay then, let's just get the half tracks closer to them. Get the half track to there, get this half track over there, and that half track to them. And this is the unit's commander, he can go there. What is this half trick doing? Oh my god, the whole unit almost... Yeah, most of the unit died here. And this half trick still seems to be shot at, so why don't we retreat you? Back from where you came, for whatever reason. Okay, everything is progressing quite nicely. Combat engineers are almost at the village. I'm so paranoid right now. I can't believe that they are not defending the village. But they are not. Apparently they are not defending it. Somebody is under fire. Oh, that's here on this side. Okay, more enemies in this forest. The majority of the enemies seems to be somewhere around here. Somebody else is under fire. Oh, my combat engineers found somebody. And the tanks are taking care of them. Good job. That guy's dead. Wonderful. Yeah. Very much a good job. Okay, the tanks are here. 
uh, I will make use of you. Which unit do you belong to? Okay, this is one of the Panzer twos. Okay. You guys. Um, which formation go there? Support these engineers. Okay, the combat engineers here in front of the village. Nobody's shooting at them. So let's just have them go in. Make sure that the village is secure. I can't believe this. Sweep the village. Okay, look at this. The combat engineers in a nice um, formation are advancing into the village. No resistance at all. Nothing. Nobody's shooting at them. That's so crazy. They did not even defend the village properly. They must be basically very low on infantry. That might explain it. Okay, this unit, they have suffered some losses, but they're mostly okay. Let's just select the infantry soldiers and have them move to here. It looks like we sweep this area. This is... This is clear. Go there. So we will be able to use these units to advance into this forest. Good job. Very good job. This is great. Okay. In that case, you guys just advance all the way up to here. Just go. And same with these guys. Just go to here. And the engineers that entered the town, same thing, advance. And I hope that my artillery strike here ends soon, because we won't be able to advance through this area as long as this is going. Uh, what else is happening? Not much. Apart from some random shooting in this area here. Uh, we're having issues in this area. Have I maybe some reserves that I can pour into that area? Not really. Could send some tanks. Should be able to demoralize the enemy. Or... I could send these combat engineers over to that side. They would be a good fit to support. You know what? That sounds like a pretty good idea. Okay, these combat engineers move to your tanks. I will move you all the way over to here, to the fort. Maybe to here, something like that. We will see. I will get you off your tanks and I will have you sweep this forest. You are very well suited for that task. And you are still fresh, basically. Okay, combat engineers did dismount. That's good. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, you guys. I want you to move into this area. You will spread out a little bit and get going. And you will, of course, be free to engage anything that you find. The Panzer twos that you rode in on, they too will be allowed to engage targets. And they will support your push. Oh, well, let's have them go like this. That's fine. Okay, my half tracks are opening up. I am getting eyes onto the open ground. So far, I did not spot anything but these guys. So I am confident to move my tanks closer. Go there. These tanks. Go there. The 
these tanks, what are you? You are Panzer threes. Get closer. What are you? Also Panzer threes. Yeah, do get closer. Now, could I move my Panzer threes through this swamp here? They would be very exposed, however. If the enemy has guns here in the forest, those guns would be able to shoot into the sides of my tanks, so I don't want to do that. I want to secure the edge of the forest. Well, the forest in general. I want to... S yeah, I want this forest secured. And now that I know where the enemies are, I can bring up my tanks, have them suppress those enemies, and have the infantry advance towards them. Also up here, I could send out this infantry into the open. But I am hesitating to do that. I'd much rather sweep the forest before I commit to something like that. Okay, but we can start to sweep the forest. So you guys, give me just infantry soldiers. I want you to advance onto this enemy position. Same with you guys. Advance to here. And you... Where the hell are you? I can't select just infantry. I don't know why, but it's fine. It's advance. Combat engineers, they are arriving. Good. Now we are getting somewhere. Let's speed up time a little bit. Yep, enemy gun sighted. Definite proof of an enemy gun presence in the forest. There's a truck and there's a gun and I can't tell what it is. Um, it's big. I can tell that much. It's a big gun. Okay, so I have to be very careful here that this thing doesn't get eyes onto my tanks. And we are running into sporadic enemy resistance. They have positions here. But they are well suppressed, so we should be able to deal with them. These guys up here might be a bit harder to get out of their trenches, but they too are very much suppressed and should be dealt with by my infantry. Well, he's still able to throw a grenade, and wow. Maybe these are engineers, because they seem to have very big grenades. Yeah, I'm taking losses here. The enemy is not defenseless. Not at all. These must be engineers. Throwing explosive charges or something like that. But I think they are breaking now. They will, they will start to run away. Yeah, they are indeed starting to run. We are getting them out of their positions. I'm still losing men. Seven men lost already to this one unit. That's bad. That's very bad. And they are shielding this gun back here. But I've taken some captives. Okay, at least one of those guys has surrendered. This is great. This is the best thing that he could have done. Oh, I'm hesitating to move my tanks up because those will be just demolished by the enemy gun. If I'm not too careful. Damn, the enemy really had positions very close to my own. Look at this massacre here. I think this was my light infantry gun shooting these guys. Yeah. That took out a lot of them. That's helping me right now. I can tell you that much. Is this half track occupied? No. Wow. Seriously? That's very much some close range fighting up here. With uh, big booms. This guy, he grabbed a machine gun and he's going ham on the enemies. Yeah, there's one. Get him. Great job. Okay, he just killed everybody. Absolute hero. But you know what? 
maybe do get back to your unit here, because now this unit is gone, basically. And I don't want you to lose... I don't want to lose this guy without any reason for it. There's no benefit to losing him now. Okay, the engineers, they're starting their sweep. They will come in very handy to sweep this area. I suspect that there's still a lot of enemy presence here. Uh, I have some tanks here, right? Yes, I do. Damn, I'm nervous about this. They are way too close to the enemy gun. However, I think this fire break here might just be low enough that the gun can't get eyes on. So I'll have these tanks continue to a position from where they can either hopefully uh, support or terrify the enemy. Both works. Okay. So far, so beautiful. I could try to get eyes on the gun again, but this time with my light infantry gun commander. If he can get eyes on, then he can get the light infantry guns to fire on that. So let's maybe move him up here. Let's see if we can pull this off. Or maybe... Well, I don't know. I'm not sure that he will be able to get eyes on, but we'll try. This light infantry gun... Fire control re-enabled. If I can get the enemy's coordinates back to the guns, then they will be uh, my best tool against them, really. Okay, sporadic enemy resistance is still present here. The enemy is now offering a ceasefire. I'm honest, I, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to take it. Because I have achieved my main objective. That's 100% true. Pushing into this forest will give me more losses. But it will also give me the chance to take out some very valuable enemy units and to squeeze the enemy pocket tighter. And I do have a lot of very good units here that I can use for an attack. It's just taking out the enemy guns that's going to be a problem. But once I do that, my tanks will be free to just roll through. The issue with that approach is just that you can never be sure that you really got all the enemy guns. What if there's still one big gun left that really ruins your day? Okay, we'll keep going for the moment. Because now the combat engineers are getting involved and I think they're doing well. By the way, do these combat engineers know they don't have a flamethrower with them? Oh, but they did discover an enemy position that they can attack. Look at this. Completely suppressed. That's how you do it. Some guys maneuver, other guys suppress. And... Well, look at them. He just found some courage. Wait, do I hear artillery fire? No, I don't think I do. Everything's okay. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Oh, he's dead. Okay, so that position has been overrun. Still enemies here. Yeah, more positions. Okay, where is the light infantry gun commander? There he is. And where is the enemy gun? I lost line of sight, but I think it was here near the truck. So let's see, can we get eyes onto that? Very good question. Can he see the area? Oh no, he can't. Ah, that, that won't work. He won't be able to see the area. I kind 
kind of don't want to get him much closer at the moment. Still fighting enemies across the open here. That's okay, we have the superiority. This unit, you can continue to move up the edge of the forest. This unit can support you. Combat engineers. I want you guys to continue your sweep. Uh, go... Yeah, just go in this direction, that's fine. Continue the assault. There's an enemy commander. Man, you are having a bad day. You are having such a bad day here. Oh, the enemy still has machine guns. Yeah. They are still resisting. He won't be able to do that for long. The enemy commander here, he's now in trouble. Do enemy commander surrender? I wonder. Yeah, he was just clubbed by this guy. They will take care of him. Good job. And the enemies here in this position, they will be overwhelmed as well. He's already wounded, his comrade is dead. So that's going to be over soonish. What was that? Some gun fired. I hope it was one of mine. Oh yes, it was. It was this guy. I still don't know the precise location of the enemy gun. You advance together with the infantry. Oh, another enemy position. Man, they are annoying. Commander. Two guys with pistols. Doing their best. But it won't be enough. Once my units are in grenade range, this will be over soon. Yeah, beat them up. <laughs> oh, this is so... so oh, my God. Okay, he got hit by this guy now. But first he wounded the two commanders, so that's good. This position should be overrun in a moment. More positions. And we have found an enemy gun. And this one can hurt infantry. Oh, yes, it can. And we have found another enemy gun. Jesus Christ, what's happening now? Where are they? Okay, yeah, multiple enemy guns here. Okay. Let's do something about that. The Panzer twos. You guys. For forest fighting, you can be quite good. So, drive up here. Oh, three guns. It's a whole battery. Go and assault that battery. I should bring up some Panzer 3s just because they have more armor. <sighs> you two. Oh, these three. Yes, of course. You are now in a perfect position to support this attack. I will have you move fast behind the enemy guns. Let's see if this works or if they get slaughtered horribly because there's another gun here. Oh, wow, that's a big one. Okay, Light Infantry Gun Commander, where are you exactly? Please don't tell me you died. Uh, I don't see him right now. So let's select the Light Infantry Gun. There he is. Can he... Select this as a target. Can he see that? No, he still can't. He can't see anything really. Which is a big, big shame. Because he's not useful. 
Let's see if my tanks can pull it off. Tank charge. Straight into enemy guns. This can go so horribly wrong. But it's the best thing that I can do right now to minimize my infantry losses. Oh, and this is a big gun. Oh, God damn it! This is a big one. But it's just about creating confusion right now. This is the goal. We have to use my tanks to create as much confusion as we can. These Panzer twos, they need to get a move on. They too are to move fast to here and then they will just move through the enemies. It's now about, yeah, these guns are taking their toll on my units. It's about creating confusion. Oh, this gun is getting hits onto my Panzer three. But now my units are getting eyes onto the guns and, well, to be honest, the enemy guns so far were not terribly effective, however, this one has just taken out the track. And is continuing to fire the tank. I hope that the tank will now fire back. So far he's not doing too well. This tank is actually abandoned. He's, it's dead. But this tank, he's doing much better. Much, much better. Just maybe don't drive in front of the gun. Go get him. Yeah, I lost one tank, but it looks like we have taken out the battery. Yeah, very much looks like we've taken out the battery. Somebody is retreating, can't combat, retreats, who is doing the retreating? Might be the tank units and somebody else as well. Oh yeah, two of my engineers, the engineers suffered horrible losses by the enemy guns. So that's why it was important to get the tanks in. Okay, this Panzer has been immobilized. That's why he's standing here. What happened to you? The fuel tank got popped and the engine. So I hope nobody throws a Molotov cocktail at you. Oh, this gun has him in... Oh, they turned it around. And it's shooting at the tank. Not good. Very much not good. Okay, the infantry, you guys, I need you to assault this thing now. Go get them. If you can. Also, this unit, they need to assault now as well. Your vehicles will keep these enemies suppressed, and you do the assaulting. Go and take out that gun before it completely wrecks this tank. This gun here should be disabled. There still seems to be some gun crew left alive, but they shouldn't be able to do much. Panzer twos are now arriving. They will be able to put some additional pressure on the enemies. I think I will see a lot of surrenders in just a moment. And this gun is still shooting. I don't know what they're shooting at right now. If they are trying to hit the tank, maybe. This tank successfully advanced into the enemy's rear. Let's have him come back and just cause confusion and panic if he can. More of my engineers are retreating. It's still this unit. Two units are retreating. They suffered big losses. This gun is now under attack. Okay, my infantry unit will be able to take them out soon. Or to disrupt their operations so that they can't continue to fire at the tank. Come on guys, go take him out. But 
Now with the Panzer II surviving, I should see some surrenders here. Panzer II's infantry, although my infantry is in retreat. Oh well, we will see. Where are you? You guys are there and there. Okay, I want you to assault here. Oh. To assault the, towards this position. Go with the tanks. I want you to call surrenders. That's your goal right now. These tanks. Let's move them into the area. Oh, the enemies have a mortar here. Okay. I'm sure that caused some losses. This half trick is way too ambitious, as always. But it's just about getting pressure onto the enemies. Surrounding them, making them surrender. Once you surround enemies, they are quick to surrender. All the tanks in the area right now, they are terrified anyway. Panzer twos and infantry advancing together now. They are not having a good time. Oh, wow, there's a lot of enemies over here. than I thought there would be, so maybe it's time to get this tank a little bit closer and have him disrupt these enemies. Just no order. Drive around, cause panic and confusion. Panzer 3s are good at that. Panzer 2s as well, as you can see. The enemy unit cohesion here is completely messed up right now. There is none. It's about breaking up the units, surrounding them, killing off the commanders, and suddenly everybody starts to surrender. Especially now with the Panzer IIs, with their auto cannons opening up on the defenseless infantry. Taking out the gun, yeah, there we go. The first surrenders are starting. This gun has been taken out. And now it's about keeping up the pressure. So, Panzer twos, once you have arrived at that position, you are to turn around and drive up to there. These guys still have a lot of grenades that they are throwing at the Panzer right now. Well, waste your grenades on the Panzer, I'm fine with that. Since the Panzer is moving quite fast, they will not have an easy time, unless he gets stuck. But now infantry is getting involved, suppressing them. So it's just getting worse for them with every passing minute. Yeah, their cohesion is going to hell. Okay, let's bring in more tanks. Uh, these tanks over here. Attack. and take them out. Over here, these engineers, I want you to move across into this forest and make sure that there are no enemies inside of that. Oh, mortar fire. That's not nice. This infantry unit attack towards these guys. The tanks from the flank will help. And everybody else, well, 
Union cohesion went out the window anyway. So just you guys. Go and attack towards here. Just don't... Don't let the enemies rest for a moment. Keep them occupied, keep them busy, keep them suppressed, terrified, running away. Unit lost. Uh, we lost the tank here. Oh yeah, that was the one that uh, got its tracks stripped. Oh, that's fine. And the enemy retreats. That's it. So yeah, the very determined assault here has achieved the objective. We've taken out the enemy guns, they are completely routed, just running away. There we go. Okay. So, let's have a look. Casualties, 68. More than I would have liked, to be honest. But the enemy has suffered 158 casualties. So, that's quite good. And we have basically wiped them out. Yeah, they had deployed 212 men. And they have 158 casualties. So there's almost nothing left. 80% of their force was killed off. Or heavily wounded. Let's have a quick look at the achievements. Nothing too spectacular. Quick look at the map. Did I miss anything? Not really. I honestly expected to see more enemies, so I'm a bit surprised that they did not have many more guns. If we look at the enemy presence, we'll see that they had the headquarter unit of the Leningrad Infantry School. They were present here and they got killed. So that was a very important unit to take out. Artillery brigades with F-22 guns. One, two, two of those. Killed. Good. Machine guns or mortars? Machine guns. Maxim machine guns. Okay. They caused some issues, but we killed them off. Rifleman. A lot of those. Commander of this unit is still alive. Running away. But, well, what will he do? They had M-22 guns. Two of those destroyed. They had a mortar. Gone as well. More riflemen. First tank battalion command. Oh, that's interesting. Battalion commander was here. Killed off. In... Oh, near the village here. Okay. Artillery battalion with an anti-tank gun. Yeah, the 45mm gun. That was a very nice hit here, wasn't it? Straight through the gun shield. And, well, it exploded behind the gun, I think. Killing everybody. And what we do we see here? Sappers. So they indeed did have combat engineers on the field. But those were on this side of the battlefield, near the village. Maybe they retreated over to there. Heavy artillery regiment commander, gone. Snipers, gone. More mortars. Yeah, some 50 millimeter mortars were present. They are mostly gone. More of those. They had a lot of mortars. Uh, they weren't quite effective with those, but yeah, well, it's 50 millimeters. Those things are not known to make a big splash. Okay, some enemies managed to run away. A lot of them died. I lost some units. And if we take a quick look at my tank, we will be able to see what actually killed it. 76.2 millimeter shells fired by... I think it was fired by the big gun here, right? Yeah, I think it was fired by the big gun. Uh, where is it? There it is. And the shells penetrated the armor. Yeah. I see two fatal penetrations. There was one here. Through the road wheel into the side armor. That uh, wounded the gunner, killed the commander and the loader. 
damage the ammunition, the track and the batteries. And we have another very, very deadly hit here right through the frontal plate, killing the gunner. Um, damaging ammunition, gun mechanic, turret mechanics, the recuperator and the engine. That tank is gone. What about this one? I did have another tank here. He got hit. But I think he managed to roll a few meters forward and just got out of line of sight of that gun. He was hit into the side. Two times. This is... What kind of shell is this? SH... I think this is uh, a shrapnel shell, maybe? The track and the chassis were damaged, so nothing too dangerous. But this shell here actually penetrated into the engine and destroyed it. Also damaged the fuel tank. So the fuel ran out and the engine is gone, but otherwise the tank is still okay. And my other tank that was doing some work up here, I think he had a lot of grenades thrown at him. But he's fine. Nothing happened. If this is that tank. I think it is, yeah. Okay. With that all said and done, let's get back to the operation and see what we achieved. Platoon routed, battle group defeated, battle group defeated. And battle group defeated. We cleaned up here. Absolutely we did. So, now we just have to get the enemies out of these squares here. We still have two turns to do that and we should be able to accomplish this. That will be a complete map wipe for the enemies, I hope. Ah, damn. Up here we will be able to clear this square. Maybe. But we won't be able to fight for this town right now. We will have to do that next turn. I was hoping that I would maybe get to fight for both. Unfortunately not. And down here in the south, next turn we will hopefully fight this enemy unit. So, that was an interesting fight inside the forest. It's always difficult to fight inside forests. But I think we did quite well. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, do leave me some feedback in the comment, especially about those things that somehow didn't work. That was kind of annoying. So if you know some workarounds, please do tell me. And I really hope to see you again next week when we take the last steps to finish this campaign. Until then, have some great days and goodbye.